Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I make lifestyle content focused on minimalism and simple living along with my husband Andrew and our two cats, Nunu and Springs. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me as I get two tasks done that I have been procrastinating on so badly. Number one is our garden. So we we have like little garden boxes. I don't it's not really a box, but we have a little garden area in front of our house and on the side of our house and it is just full of weeds and I have not done anything to it um, this entire spring. So I really need to get that sorted, especially because <laughs> everyone on our street is very, very particular about their lawns, as I've said in previous videos. So I feel <laughs> I feel pressured to get my lawn um into shape so I'm going to work on getting out all the weeds and preparing it to plant flowers in and the only thing I'm concerned about is I don't remember what I planted in it last year um, meaning like I know that some of the plants were going to grow back again this year and so I have to try to figure out which plants are actual plants that I want to keep and which ones are just weeds that I can remove. So that's going to be a challenge and I've been procrastinating it because I know it's going to take a little while to do. And the second thing I need to do is clean out my baking cabinet inside the house because it is an absolute disaster. I kind of just have been throwing stuff in there and it's piling up and it's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous when I try to take, when I need to go in there to take something out, I end up like knocking everything over and just making it more of a mess. So it needs to be reorganized and it's needed to be reorganized for a few months now. So it's kind of embarrassing, but it's true. It's real life. So yeah, so that is my plan for this evening. It is already 5 p.m. So I don't have that much time. I don't know how much I'll be able to get done, but um, we'll see. <laughs> So my plan is to start in the garden and get as much done there as possible. And then once it starts to get a little darker, I'll come inside and be able to tackle the baking cabinet, hopefully. <laughs> and unfortunately, even though it's, it's 5 p.m., but it's still like 85 degrees out, it is so hot today. So I'm going to get a hat and some sunscreen and then I'm gonna head outside. <laughs> Okay, so I got this section cleaned out here. This is lamb's ear, so I'm gonna leave that there because it's pretty. I'm not sure what this is, but it kind of looks like an actual plant of some sort, so I think I'm gonna leave that. Um, I'm assuming these are weeds, and that this is a plant, but yeah, we're just gonna assume that for now.
I just gotta figure out what to do with these piles that I've created. But yeah, it's not looking too bad. It's not perfect, but it will look a lot better once I plant some new flowers in here and add some mulch. Okay, this is the second part of our little garden. And this is, I think, even in worse condition. Oh, I found something. What do we have here? Two little critters. Hi, Vivi's. Hi. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna do the same thing. Go through, dig out all of these weeds. I think these tall flowers are something, they might be bee balm, I'm not 100% sure. And this over here is a little mini rose bush type of thing. And yeah, some lilies. We have a rose bush right there as well, but I think everything else is just weeds, so. Oh my goodness, how cute. Oh, good girls. So yeah, I'm just going to get this done really quick. It didn't take me very long to do the front, so I don't know why I was procrastinating for so long, but yeah, hopefully this won't take as, wow, my hair looks really lovely right now. Hopefully this won't take very long and then I can go inside. <laughs> guys if you couldn't tell it is actually the next day I got so tired after gardening yesterday that I came inside took a shower and went and laid in bed which I was frustrated with myself because I really wanted to get my cabinet done but I just couldn't I was so tired I've been struggling with being tired lately and just not feeling motivated and procrastinating everything which is annoying because I know that if I just take the time and get the things done that I've been putting off that I'll feel so much better but I still keep doing it and I don't know why so but anyways today I'm gonna get this cabinet cleaned I'm scared to open the doors because it is a disaster I've just been throwing stuff in there for weeks and it needs a lot of organization and clearing out so okay let me show you guys what I'm dealing with. Ta -da! So this is the disaster that I'm dealing with. And I know it is crazy. So what I'm gonna do is just take everything out and organize it on my kitchen floor, make sure that there's nothing that's expired in there like old flour, which there probably is. And hopefully I can fit it in there in a way that is a bit more organized because I think the problem is this cabinet's not very big. I just have too much stuff in there. So it's a little bit, I think it's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but let's see what we can do. lot of um cocoa powder I don't know I think what happens is I'll be baking a recipe for like a birthday cake or something and I'll be like oh I need cocoa powder because I don't use it that often and I just assume I don't have it and I probably just kept doing that like these two are full this one's full this one feels like it's basically empty and then this has like half so I think I'm good with cocoa powder for a while. So now that I got everything cleared out, I'm just gonna go through and wipe down the cabinet with some all-purpose cleaner just because I spilled a lot of flour in there. So it needs to be cleaned up. And then I will see about putting everything back in the cabinets. Okay, 
Okay, so now I think what I'm gonna do is try to organize stuff by type. So I'm gonna try to find all of my decorating pieces, like for decorating cakes and cookies, and put those together because I don't use them a lot. So if I could put them towards the back, that might be good. I kind of have a lot of decorating stuff and I don't know why because I don't decorate cookies that often, but it is still nice to have. So I'm gonna keep it and just put it in the back. I find to be very helpful is to save little boxes. So I think this was like um, a box I got when I ordered makeup and this is just a little container from Ikea. And these are so nice for organizing stuff in cabinets. Even if you save like old shoe boxes and stuff, <laughs> they're really nice for organizing stuff. So these are my decorative things. I have sprinkles, piping bags, toothpicks, and then in here I have some of those like icing little thingies and some topper. I don't know why I'm saving these, but just in case. <laughs> I have some candles and um, some piping bag tips. So I'm gonna put these in the back along with a few other things and then move on to maybe the flowers and sugars. have a lot of cookie cutters and they're in this bag which is quite old and has holes all in it so I'm just going to transfer them to this bag and um, I find this is just an easy way to store the cookie cutters because I could see right through the bag and find the one I'm looking for easier so I'm just going to transfer them to this new bag and then put them with the decorating stuff. So I got the top shelf sorted, but now I need to get all of the bigger stuff. So like the sugars, the flowers, and some mixing bowls um, and all that on the bottom shelf. And I'm a little bit worried it's not gonna fit because the containers that are storing them are quite big, but we'll see. Um, some of the containers don't have anything in them right now, but they usually do, so that's why I'm gonna put them back in there. Um, yeah. All right, let's see what we can do. <laughs> Okay, so the baking cabinet is all organized. It looks pretty crowded, but there's nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> I tried to keep all of the little decorating stuff all on top and organized because I don't use that a lot. And um, yeah, so it's kind of just out of the way up here. So, it, so it's kind of just out of the way up here. I have like, I said sprinkles and food coloring and cookie cutters and um, cupcake holders and stuff like that. I also put some of the extra cocoa powders up here just because I don't need them all on the main shelf right now because it's gonna take me forever to go through them. 
down here on this side, I have stuff. This isn't just baking stuff. This is my measuring stuff that I use on a daily basis and our mixing bowls and our cake stand. And then over here I have um, some more of the cocoa powders and then the flowers and the sugar. And I realize that they're gonna be annoying to reach because there's so many of them, but that's just how it is. And at least it is organized and clean and fits. And it's really funny because just like the gardening yesterday, it didn't even take that long to, to clean this. So I don't know why I was putting it off for so long, but it took like 20 minutes. <laughs> but it's done now and I'm super happy. One less thing that I have to worry about. Um, yeah, maybe I can get some other stuff done this week that I've been procrastinating, but I'm really happy that the garden is cleaned up and I have this done. And tomorrow, I think my mom's going to go to this um, flower shop and pick up some flowers for me for the garden. So I'll be able to plant them and it's going to look really nice. So I'm excited. Well, now that the cabinet is clean, I'm going to take you guys outside. I need to water some of the plants that I do have. So I'll show you guys those. And I'll also show you what I did yesterday to the gardens because I know I was filming, but my camera died at the end and I didn't show you what everything looked like when I was done. So I'll go show you guys that now. This is my basil, and I have no idea what these are. We got little seeds at work and little pots to plant them, and I did, and this is what's grown, and I have no idea what they are. So they're just in here with my basil. So I need to water this because it's super dry. It's been very, very hot. And then in this pot, I have these petunias, and then I had, <laughs> Um, a sweet potato vine that was supposed to grow like out of the pot but I kind of killed it in the frost I didn't bring it inside so I'm hoping that it will grow back it's got some more leaves and they look like this one looks healthy so it's a good sign so yeah gotta water this too So this is what the side garden looks like right now. I've got all of these weeds gone. Hopefully those are actually bee balm. And there's some weeds in here, but they're okay. And then our rose bush, and then all of this space to plant more flowers. Hello guys, it is now Wednesday and my mom just dropped off some of the plants she got for me at the plant sale. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you what I got. This is a Shasta daisy. And then I have some meadow, meadow sage that's supposed to get tall. And some profusia, profusion zinnias. This thing, gay feather floristin violets. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like pretty cool. And then a tomato plant. <clears throat> So I'm going to go out and plant all this stuff and take you guys with me while I'm doing that and we'll have a look at what the garden looks like with everything planted. I'm a little bit worried because I'm realizing that my soil is very dry 
and there's a lot of rocks in it and it's also mixed with mulch from last year so um, yeah mulch that's what's called so I'm a bit worried but there's nothing I can do about it now because I've already planted most of the plants so I'm hoping that it's okay I'm going to water everything tonight and well be just for that I'm gonna water everything tonight and yeah hope that it's okay I'm not I don't have a very green thumb so <laughs> I kill things all the time so hopefully these guys stick and it's okay Hello guys, it is now Thursday. This is the never ending vlog, but I just wanted to come back and say thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way through. Um, yeah, as you can see, this week has been sort of a challenge for me and even the past few weeks actually, especially with regard to procrastinating and getting things done that I need to. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any tips for procrastination and motivation, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. It's something that I really struggle with. I go through phases, I'm sure most people do, of being very motivated and able to get things done and then really struggling with that. So I'd love to hear any tips you have below. Um, and yeah, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys again next week. Bye.